This little water droplet rodeo is known as the Leidenfrost effect, and maybe you've seen it in action before, but if you want to replicate it for yourself, you're going to need three things. First, you'll need a little bit of water, because a lot will not work. Next, you're going to need a very, very hot surface. I recommend using a frying pan on a burner that you just leave there for a little while. And the third thing that you're going to need is caution, because the second thing can hurt you and I don't want you getting hurt. What happens is that when a water droplet touches the incredibly hot surface, the bottom of the droplet vaporizes immediately, and that makes life pretty interesting for the rest of the droplet that hasn't vaporized yet. The hot surface is going to continue trying to heat up the water droplet, but the problem is that the water droplet is no longer touching the surface directly. There's this vapor layer in between them, and the heat from the hot surface has a harder time moving through that. It's much less efficient, and so the rest of the water droplet gets heated up slowly instead of immediately. And in the meantime, it gets to go absolutely wild, riding around like crazy on a cloud of its own vapor.